<laughs> Hello there, guys. I woke up uh, about an hour ago, so I apologize if my face looks tight. I have a few things I want to talk about today, um, but the first one I'm going to talk about is the whole Chick fil A issue, thingy thing thing. Um, and I want to, before I talk about it, I just want to let everyone know that I am very supportive of all of the people, the gays and the lesbians and the transgenders and the bisexuals and everybody. Um, I think everyone should be able to be who they are and express themselves without discrimination. However, at the same time, I believe that everyone is entitled to their own opinion and everyone is entitled to stating their own opinion. So, I just... I want to point out that Chick-fil-A has always been a bit of a Christian business. Like, it's not like they're trying to hide the fact that they're Christian, but at the same time, they have no specifics on who they will hire or who will let into their restaurant or any of that stuff. They are pretty welcoming of everyone. Um, and I think that for someone to come out and say that they believe that marriage should just be between a man and a woman, that's someone's opinion, and I don't think it needs to be taken into so much consideration, like, oh, Chick-fil-A should be, Chick-fil-A is a bad business, it shouldn't be allowed in certain states, blah, 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 because it's not that they're saying, I think everyone else is wrong, but they're just kind of stating their opinion. Um, and I know that Time has mentioned that she had certain beliefs on the issue, and I just kind of wanted to sort of point out the other side of the argument. However, at the same time, um, I believe that people should be able to marry whoever they want to, but it's just, I think, that it's a little bit overboard, especially since this whole Chick-fil-A deal has become sort of like a political, almost a political issue, which is extremely ridiculous. It has nothing to do with politics. But, yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I also wanted to talk about some other people's videos because I was gone and didn't talk about it enough. Jeremy, I like your HD camera. I would like to know what it is because I, I don't know what it is. And I'm trying to get a camera because my webcam just... It was great that Sarah could make a video in Canada. Yay, hotel, free Wi-Fi, all that good stuff. I feel bad for your friend who forgot to brush her teeth. Taylor, I know you made some videos. And I think I remember wanting to talk about them, but I've kind of forgotten what I wanted to say. So, yeah. Uh, next person who comes on Saturday, who comes on, Oliver comes on Saturday. Oliver, I don't have anything to say to you either. Well, I mean, I did, but I've forgotten. All of the things have just gone from my mind. Raquel, you're in an RV. You are RVing. You're not camping unless you are in a tent. So, I don't know if maybe you were in a tent and you were just in, like, the bathrooms or whatever, but if you were in an RV, you're not camping. Um, oh, last thing. I'm thinking about redoing my red before I go back to school, if you look right here. This part, this little part that's blonder than the rest of my hair is bleach blonde because I used to have it purple. And then back here is bleach blonde as well because it used to be red. It's like in the back. I'm thinking about redoing the red in the back and then possibly doing just more random red things around here because I still have the red dye and I really want to use it and stuff. So yes, you could tell me what you think about what I should do with my red hair in the comments. That would be good. And if you want to voice your opinion on the whole Chick-fil-A thing, that would also be good. So, yes. Goodbye, everybody.